With that down, let's jump into topic number one. And our first main topic today gets submitted into us by Big Wave, who writes, Hey, John, I saw an interview in which Linda Hamilton said she would be quite happy to never return to the Terminator franchise. So, do you think that the Terminator franchise is officially dead for the se- for at least the foreseeable future? Or will they be like MoviePass and they somehow ch- manage to crawl around half dead for a couple of years? Great analogy, Big Wave. All right, thanks a lot for sharing that. Um, so yeah, listen, if you're wondering what is he talking about, of course, Linda Hamilton came back for the most recent Terminator film. Full disclosure, I didn't mind the last Terminator film, actually. I, I, I saw it wasn't great, but I actually thought it was better than some people made it out to be. And it's one of the better Terminator films, I think, since Terminator 2, but the bar on that is not real high. So I, I understand that's not saying much. But Linda Hamilton has come out. She was asked about this, and, and she made some pretty interesting comments. She said the following. She said it should definitely not be, like they're asking her if they did another one. She said it should definitely not be such a high-risk financial venture, but I would be quite happy to never return. So no, I am not hopeful because I would really love to be done. <laughs> not only is she go was she saying, I'd be fine if I never came back. She said, I would really love to be done. And that, of course, comes to us from Linda Hamilton. Now, this raises a, a couple of questions. One question would be, why would somebody like Linda Hamilton uh, come out and, and say something like this? Because my normal feeling on something like this, Dennis, is that, you know, if you're an actor and look, Terminator just came out on home video. Mm-hmm. So there's they're still trying to promote this thing, right? It's not great for home video sales, uh, whether it's streaming or whatever is left of physical media and stuff like that. It's not great for home video sales. When you have one of the marquee stars, maybe one of the best parts of that entire movie coming out and saying, I don't ever want to come back. I would love to be done. I mean, it's not great. I usually prefer that that actors would kind of, you know, look, don't lie, but don't come out and blatantly say, I would love to be done. I never want to come back because that if there's somebody on the fence about coming back or about going out and buying the movie. Having one of the stars basically saying, I hated my my existence here and doing coming back for this thing, that's got to be a deterrent. I, Dennis, they asked the question, with a comment like this, do I think the Terminator is done for the foreseeable future? I think an argument could be made that they may have been done for the foreseeable future after the box office, because it made two, mid-200 millions yeah. worldwide. Not great. I mean, if you or I made a movie that made $200 million, we'd be very happy. But for a Terminator film, not great. So I I almost would feel, even without Linda Hamilton's comments, that the immediate future, like the next five years, say, of Terminator is a little bit in doubt at any rate. With Linda Hamilton coming out and saying things like this, I, I don't know how you, from a PR perspective, come out two years from now and say, we're doing another Terminator and go... Your own star was trash talk. I, I don't know. I think we're not going to see another Terminator film for at least three, four, maybe even five years. How do you feel about it? Yeah, there's a couple things. I, I actually quite enjoyed the last Terminator, the Terminator Dark Fate. It is the best one uh, since T2, uh, you know, notwithstanding uh, Terminator Sarah Connor Chronicles. Um, but uh, I do think they're done for the foreseeable future just because it was such a costly venture. I think it was, what, 150, 160? Yeah, it was then, real expensive. And then, you know, 260 worldwide, you know, is, is not a lot of money. Um, so I think if they were to return, it would have to be with what Linda Hamilton is saying, something smaller like the original first film where it's like make it sort of a almost indie sci-fi style, right? right. Maybe do a $20, $30 million budget and then and then have that. I, I I have a special place in my heart for the Terminator franchise, um, but I do understand that kind of this new audience and the younger people growing up don't have that <laughs> affection for it, so that's why it doesn't do so well at the box office. And also, the previous movies didn't help, right? Like uh, the ones oh, that just... Yeah. With Salvation and... Uh, Genesis. Genesis and, and, and all that stuff. So, But in terms of her comments, normally, I, I would be like, oh, man, this is a... a a uh, star bad mouthing the the franchise that she's in, blah blah blah. Doesn't she want more work? Blah blah. But we had shot an interview with her like right before the movie had come out, and this is before all the the box office, uh, you know, disappointment. I guess you would say, and you could tell from 
her response is that it's not um I don't think she's necessarily like saying anything bad about the Terminator franchise. They had to convince her just to do this one, yeah, right? Like James yeah. Cameron had to actually like, like get her to sit her down and say, "Look, this is the way we're going," and 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 Tim Miller as well. And so I think it's it's more of her as a person. Like just watching that interview that she did, she just seems more. I don't know. She's not into the whole like big star thing or so normally right as someone who's a star of a franchise would be like okay we let's do the next one do the next one so i can keep being in the public eye making money etc cetera, etc cetera. and she just seems more content with doing projects that she likes and i think she's she's just done with with the terminator herself so i see foresee them doing maybe something else further down the line cheaper and without linda hamilton you know it's funny the the press screening and i don't go to a lot of them anymore i but i wanted to go to that one yeah so Mackenzie Davis came out and surprised the audience at the press screening I was at and, and welcomed the audience and all that kind of stuff. And she mentioned that Linda was supposed to be here tonight, but she got sick. And it's like, oh, that's unfortunate. But, you know, after seeing some of the interviews that she's done and after hearing her comments now, I'm, I'm sitting here in hindsight. And look, I am I could be totally just reading into this. Absolutely. But I'm now in hindsight going, I wonder if Linda Hamilton was actually ill that night or if she just didn't want to be there. Like, I, I don't know. It's an interesting question. Guys, the question then gets thrown over to you. What do you think about Linda Hamilton's comments? Do they surprise you? Do they not surprise you at all? Do you think this speaks anything to about what the immediate future of a Terminator franchise should be? Should they come right back out of the gate and make another one? Should they wait a few years? How are you feeling about it? Jump into the comments section below and leave us your thoughts. All right.